Welcome to Ridiculousness. I'm Rob Gillick, and with me is always a CEO girl. It's the Mel West Coast. Yeah, I felt good. Yeah, yeah. I felt good. <laughs> okay, look, um, you know, I, I did something recently uh, that was stupid. Okay. okay. I get meals delivered, but the way it works is they come uh, sealed with this mm -hmm. plastic thing, and I chose to cut it off with the knife going this direction. Yeah, yeah, why? I don't know. Okay. And what did it do? Went straight into my finger and, <laughs> and slid it right, and, and it's like, like... Bleeding? Bleeding, slid it all the way open, like, pocket. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, and it's like, there's no part of me that doesn't know nobody cuts into themselves. Mm -hmm. You don't try to do it, but it was my fault, you know? Have you ever uh, hurt yourself and been like, what the f so stupid, I should have known better. I think I told you just like during quarantine, I was like trying to show off. So I make the best guacamole in the world. I think she tried to argue that she had better guacamole. Mine's better. Me. He could have a guacamole. You just started off. cooking two weeks ago. <laughs> You've been cooking for 20 years. Hey, hey but she, she's been mashing guac. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm one of those since people, like 94. Whatever I put my mind to, I'm great. Like it. And I, uh, I cut the middle, like the web in my oh. finger. Yeah, and the whole thing. I healed it up myself. So it's still not healed, really. <laughs> At least that's not as stupid as I cut myself during quarantine because I got into juicing and the little apple cutter. <laughs> she thinks her guac is better than mine? <laughs> she cut herself juicing? Listen, the apple cutter. Well, the let apple, her explain. The let apple explain. cutter literally has handles that you hold to cut the apple. Yeah. And I grabbed it and I grabbed the. No handles. No handles, just grabbed it and literally sliced these three fingers on the three things I touched. Like, I was like, and I had three cuts in these fingers. I'm like, why would I grab it like that? Like, dumbest thing I've ever done. Yeah. That, that, that's what I'm saying. No, I might we got have done nothing things. to blame but ourselves. Yeah. And you know it right after the fact. You're yeah. like, what? What the? F yeah. Everybody in this category knows that feeling because they are self-defeated. Take a look. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go. Truck? Well, come out to meet me. We're matching. We're ready yeah. to go. <laughs> He's like, Chanel, what's up? <laughs> it was almost nice. It really was. Yeah. It's not jammed. No, no, no. Pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Yes, it's okay. This is scaring me. Hold up now. I know he's not trying to. I, like, broken nose instantly. No, but is it a broken nose or is it a blind man? You know what I mean? Maybe what are you doing? Are you gonna choke? You could die. You the thing go through your nose into your brain. It's all bad. It's all bad. I don't like this, man. Oh man. Oh man. Why? Oh, I can see his colors. Um, that was the gender reveal. Oh, For self defeated. Look, I, I don't know about you guys, but I, I really enjoy breaking drywall. Mm. I, I, you know, because it's oddly satisfying. I used to do it as a kid all the time. Well, not like in my house, but my dad had, he used to make us work on properties and stuff, like put down floors, all that kind of stuff. So I used to love when it was the first day of him being like, hey, we're going to tear down this, these walls. Well, look, uh, this category right here is people that love tearing through drywall. Take a look at Drywall Destroyer. <laughs> Construction Kool-Aid Man. We'll be right back with more ridiculous.